There was another film called The Legend of Boggy Creek that uh, it, it sounds pretty innocuous, and I don't even know if you ever heard of it, but it, it's essentially one of these, uh, you know, abominable snowmen, uh, Yeti, uh, Bigfoot type of movies, and this thing just absolutely killed them in the Midwest. Had a really hokey advertising campaign, but back then, again in the 70s, a lot of people believed that this, uh, you know, this creature did exist. That day in the store, Willie Smith didn't believe me when I told him about a wild, hairy creature in the woods. He believes me now. In fact, in fact, I got a call from Jim Pritchard in Dallas one, uh, one of those years back in the 70s, and he said, John, I've got a guy here sitting here with me who has got footage that uh, of Bigfoot, he said, and this is the real thing. And he thinks that we're going to capture this Bigfoot creature. And if we do, we'll make a fortune. We'll all make, we'll make millions. He said, but in the meantime, why don't we do a little documentary about it, a little film about it? And, uh, and I said, it sounds great to me. He said, I'll come down there. So I flew down to Dallas and uh, I think that uh, Jim Payne came in from Minneapolis probably Harry Clark from Jacksonville, uh, you know, a group of us that worked together back there in independent distribution. And we sat down with Jim and we looked at this footage uh, with the filmmaker, I forget his name, and he had some just, just remarkable footage. of It really did look like this creature, this unknown creature, this man ape uh, that was filmed somewhere in, I forget, Oklahoma or Tennessee or somewhere. And we were convinced at the time that he was, because he, he said, he said, I'm gonna capture this thing. And when I do, we'll put him on the road and we'll charge people, you know, $50 each to see this creature alive and we'll make more money than blah, 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 blah. okay. So, uh, so we got really excited about it. And we all kicked in five or 10 grand each, whatever we needed to make the thing work and hired someone, uh, you know, to do the editing and do a wraparound story with it and go out and shoot some additional footage. And we ended up with a film called The Legend of Bigfoot never went anywhere you know we opened it in a few spots and we got a few a little bit of our money back but needless to say you know bigfoot was never captured you see it now and it's obviously a guy in a costume but you know again back then people really thought that this creature existed you know i got to call jim pritchard and find out where where that film is right now because he's probably been selling it on dvd for the last 20 years and making bucks on it I'll call Jim to check on that because I, I own a piece of that.